Hey guys, this is the real UGC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Hunter Gatherer achievement for Gears of War 3. I've seen a lot of speculation and misinformation online about how exactly this achievement does unlock. So I've made this video to clear up all the common questions and show you exactly how to do it. First of all, what you want to do, you want to go into a private match from the main menu, select King of the Hill, turn the number of bots down to zero, put the bleed out time on 15 and put the map selection host chooses. Once it's gone to the lobby, you want to make sure you're the only player on the Locust team. Everybody who's going to help you boost must remain on the COG team. That way you've got more people that you can down and tag with a smoke grenade. Then select the map as checkout. Ensure that you have got the Savage Hunter as your character. You can select any weapons that you wish. I decided to go with the Lancer and the Nasher simply because I use those weapons online. And then start the game up. When the game starts, you want to congregate in the centre of the map. This makes it easier for enemy players to spawn and get to you much quicker to reduce downtime on your achievement. Once you meet in the middle, shoot the enemy in the legs, pick them up with X, like so, press upwards on the D-pad and you will kick them away. That is one towards your achievement. It's a simple fact of rinse and repeat 20 times. We did this in a private lobby and it worked perfectly. Once again, tag, smoke, cut, that's two. I'm not going to show you all 20 of the kills obviously because that will be a bit dull for you. But I will cut them too when the achievement does unlock. Okay, I have now just cut three minutes further in the video for you. Save a bit of time. As you can see, we're using the same technique, and there you go, achievement unlocked at the top. Put together our nice and easy guys. Hopefully, this has cleared up a lot of the speculation for you.